How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and this will be the last day that I'm acting like a little baby with my bovid. I'm gonna continue the normal videos after this. I am tired of being locked up in my room but I feel pretty good today so I'm actually gonna go film something with the McLaren. It might be the last McLaren video um i have my eyes set on a car i've already negotiated with the guys i i might just go for it uh let me know your thoughts down below i'm not going to tell you what car but should i should i move on should i move on to something that i think you guys are going to like a hell of a lot more and i'm gonna like let me know your thoughts down below and if you're interested in the mclaren come buy it i want it gone anyways today we're going to be looking at some other cars that people want gone maybe they're looking for their next big project and uh, they just got to make room so let's take a look at these cars and see if uh with these disgusting mods that these guys did if they're gonna have a good time selling these bad boys i doubt it i'm just gonna say it if i'm having trouble selling my tastefully modified mclaren i don't think these guys are gonna sell these riced out pos's anytime soon let's go ahead and dive right in if you see any of these send it to my gmail drew anyways let's dive in 2011 chevrolet camaro sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars oh my god when corvette guys put lambo doors on their cars it's pretty cringe a camaro a Camaro? A fifth gen at that Bumblebee himself wouldn't put Lambo doors on it. And he's a goddamn transformer. This guy, though, said, nah, let me in the exotic me. I'm an exotic fool. Let me in. I think he has fake carbon fiber wrapped stripes, too. Uh, that, I mean, it looks like fake carbon fiber. Maybe it's just gray. But uh, either way, it ain't doing anything to make this V6 Camaro look any more aggressive aftermarket seats in the interior can't really fault him for that i mean these camaros are a little outdated by now everybody and their fat grandmas have climbed in and out, in and out of them so seat wear is a real deal i mean it is a manual i'll give him that too it is a manual it's it's uh, like oh god look at how cheap this gm interior steering wheel is look at this thing this thing looks like it belongs on a fucking work truck from the mid 2000s let alone a sports car supposedly why does he have A-pillar gauges? Okay, 14.2. That's either his voltage, AFRs, and I don't even know what this is. Negative 5? Negative 5 Aura. You're driving around a fucking V6 Mustang. Oh, it is wideband. I was right. Okay, but what about the other one? Boost? There's no boost. There's no fucking boost. Oh, look at that. Fake boost gauge. Oh, wait, where's the boost, buddy? Where's the fucking boost? I, I don't see no boost. Where's the boost? Is this a supercharger? Is this a boosted? Is this boosted? Is this a supercharger? No, it's not. It's not a fucking supercharger. This clown threw on a boost gauge thinking that's what you need. You need a boost gauge, buddy? Do you need a boost gauge to make boost? God, this person's stupid. Oh my god. I mean, the Lambo doors let us know that let us know that right away, but putting a boost gauge on an NA car, short bus activity right there. Sorry. Had to say it. Anyways, 38,000 miles, uh, one owner, no accidents. Engine is a 3.6 liter V6. Rear-wheel drive, runs great. No mechanical issues. And has A-pillar gauges for nothing. Fucking clown. Oh, clowns are everywhere. And and this thing's probably going to sell. And my McLaren 8. And I'm not even asking an arm and a leg. I'm willing to lose money on it. Shoot me an offer, please. I just want a gun. Anyways, next car, 2004 Nissan Altima Custom. 16,000. So it's about the same price. So which one would you guys prefer? The V6 with Lambo doors or the Ultima with Lambo doors? This is a hard one. Check his hard drive. Dude, dude, there's no way grown ass men are driving around with like anime princesses. This isn't even like an actual character, I think. This is some DIY hand-drawn shit. There's no way men are driving around with this shit and their hard drives ain't just flooded with you know what. There's no way. I ain't buying it. 2004 nissan altima like it's already a gross car when you think nissan altima especially in early 2000s when i just know that car is infested with i just know that car is infested with roaches this one maybe not roaches but i know his hard drive is infested with something it looked much better with this hood like i guess you know when you're starting from literally the bottom you can only go up i'm not going to give this car any more compliments beyond that i mean i guess it's all one color like who wants this on the front of their car it looks like something you'd see at a kid's birthday party and that's not a good thing you don't want that on your car bro that's that you're, negative a million aura by having a anime chick on your car that's so much negative aura this guy's in an aura drought anyways pink interior um there's like a divider or something in what the hell's going on man these, these custom cars are crazy 
People do this shit and think, yeah, I'm definitely making my money back when this shit goes out of style. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not You're not making your money back. Zero percent chance. You even decorate it with little flowers to try to get him that trophy. I guarantee it didn't work. Uh, those flowers ain't doing jack shit. Anyways, uh, tilted hood, fiberglass, uh, custom trunk, uh, deck lid, three-piece center, uh, console, door panels. I mean, if you want to read this shit, go for it. It's got nothing. It's just a body kit, wheels. Oh, it's got a K&N filter. Oh, damn. I didn't know he was fucking fast. Shit, my bad. Painted to match, too. Oh, my God, dude. This guy. No, no expense was spared on this bad boy, huh? Jesus. Anyways, yeah, for 16 grand, I, I, I would take the V6. Says it needs a little TLC. It is a head turner. Dude, you guys understand if you spray paint any car pink, it's going to turn heads? People are stupid. A head turner isn't always a good thing. And it wins every time at shows. Yeah, because you just wasted too much money on it. And how, much, how much money have you earned winning at shows? How much money? Zero. So why would you spend $16,000 for a fucking plastic trophy you could buy on Amazon? You wouldn't, unless you're stupid. All right, next car, 2009 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe, $95,000. Drew, that's not a Corvette. I mean, that's what he says it is. I don't see a Corvette. I mean, I guess maybe the roof I could see is a Corvette. Yeah, okay, he transformed this thing into a, whatever the hell this thing is. And then he really tinted the color blue with uh, After Effects. I don't know. He, he changed the cool filter to super negative. Regardless, though, wow, that is not how I expected the rear to look. The front of it actually isn't too bad like yeah it's like a gta 5 roblox roblox looking car like it's not the worst thing ever though what the fuck happened to the back though why does it look like godzilla himself stuck his penis in the rear without asking for consent why does it why does it look like that that doesn't look healthy that looks that looks painful doesn't look cute what is this wing too it's like it's not a fucking swan neck it's it's like a negative angle c clamp wing like what is this shit the rear is like the most atrocious thing okay giant subs of course you got to have that in your fucking nice race car I, the interior is cool i mean like these corvette interiors have always been like all right yeah i mean compared to the front end the rear end just doesn't hold its own oh we got a video still sounds like a corvette of course oh no he is boosted look at that So like it sounds really good like it's chopping you hear the blower it's making all of the right noises this dude obviously takes care of his car but 95 grand for this dude you're getting into zr1 prices for a c6 base model with the weirdest body kit ever i i just don't see it brother i'm just being honest with you i don't see it maybe i'm wrong like don't get me wrong i think this photo right here hey that's an all right looking weird supercar it definitely is weird but it looks aggressive. It looks weird. It looks what's that one weird ass? Um, it's that TikTok. It's on TikTok all the time. That black supercar that looks crazy, like the Apollo or something like that. Looks like that. Crazy. Okay. Rear end again. Looks like a, a, a sexual assault case. It doesn't look good. But I just don't see ninety five thousand dollars in it. That's the only thing. I just don't see it. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is it worth ninety five thousand dollars? At the end of the day, it's still a base model. I don't see it. Makes eight hundred five horsepower though. So just quick. Yeah, there's no denying that next car probably the only one that actually sold because you can only sell things to people dumber than you and the only people looking for stance cars are well probably dumb people 2012 ford focus se that wasn't really a shot at uh you know this i, I guess it was yeah it was a shot whatever you know it, it'll lick my balls yeah it was a shot uh regardless though let's look at this ford focus from 2012 so he put an rs front bumper on it his oem one probably flew off months ago let's keep it a buck here i mean if this thing is static then yeah i th this front end is going to be cooked within a couple months uh maybe weeks depending on how much you drive it i don't know why anyone would want to buy a pre-built stance car it just sounds like issue nightmare like there's a proper way to do stance cars i'm not saying like looks wise like you can do as much camber as you want as stupid as you are you can do as much as you want sure but like there's corners that have to be cut and there's there's certain things that have to be done in order to uh get this like drivable 
And so just picking up where somebody else left off, it just doesn't sound like a good idea to me personally. You're going to find a bunch of hood rat shit all over the car. Like, yeah, I could see right here. There's a fucking cable dangling right here. And that's in his post. Imagine what you don't see. Anyways, it's an automatic Ford Focus SE. I think this is a case of, oh, shit. I have a Ford Focus SE and I don't know what I could do with it. I guess I'll just stance it out because... I, I have to mod it. I don't know. I don't think anybody went out and bought a Ford Focus SE and was like, yeah, this is going to be a six stance car. I don't think that's the case. But let me know what you guys think. Regardless, though, I'm happy to see it's all one color. It's not the worst thing ever, you know? Yeah, it does have a bit of negative camber, but like, I don't know. It's not like negative 40, so whatever. Let's read his description. Ignorant stance car that is built to be as low as humanly possible. Static, not bagged, or anything like that. Manual swapped. Okay, well, that's good. Overall, super reliable stance car open to trades. Let's see what he's looking for. What does he think he can trade for? Looking for classics. Classic trucks. Classics. Raced quads. Other cool stuff. Let me know what you got. No, I don't want your S10 or rotted out shitbox. This car has a lot of little quirks and kinks that comes with ignorant stance cars. The price reflects it. He's asking only $6,000, but it has 140,000 miles. I feel like that's what you would ask for a 2012 Ford Focus SE regardless. Anyways, it's sold. Either it's sold or he called a junkyard. One or the other. Let me Last car. Ford Focus Fiesta. Ford Fiesta Focus. Ford Fiesta ST. $6,000 from 2017. Oh, God. Another Ford boy. And uh, how does this look worse than the stance car? Like, at least the stance car was put together. It was clean. And, you know, for a stance car, it looked like it did the part. What is this guy going for? What is this thing? Dude, that thing must have rubbed so fucking bad. I mean, it looks like it does. But he didn't even chop his factory body underneath. So what's the point of it? Oh, my God. This isn't, like, this is something that I feel like someone would call, like, a Mad Max build. But it just looks like a crackhead build. Oh, my God. That is very dangerous. That is exactly how you uh, submarine yourself and destroy your spine very not cool bro <laughs> what even is this this is his daily driver i love this car but i need a work truck it's a good rally car it's a good project or just drive it as is a little rough on the outs a little bro this thing looks dirtier than meth head's teeth like what are you talking about this thing i wouldn't eat off of this thing i would rather eat off of the back of a homeless person than eat off of the hood of this car what are you even talking about brother a little rough on the outside, but it's been a good, reliable daily. A few upgrades, just simple bolt-ons, whoosh intercooler, turbo smart blow-off valve, front mount oil cooler, stuff like that. Otherwise, the motor is stock with a Cobb tune. Far from perfect, but less than 75,000 miles. So what? You could have 10,000 miles and destroy your car within six. Like, what are you talking about? Clean title, asking 6,000. Fair, considering these are going for 10,000 win stock. If this thing was stock, you would probably get your $6,000 or whatever you want. Yeah, you probably would. But it's not stock. You destroyed it. You ruined it. This is not a rally car. This is not a race car. It's not even a sports car. You destroyed it. You made it not daily drivable. You made it ugly. You made it look disgusting. You, everything you did to it was wrong. This, ripping out your rear seats, wrong idea. Wrong choice. Putting racing seats, which we know are fake, with harnesses in it, wrong choice, bad idea. Why did you do this? You're an idiot. You're a clown. You're stupid. You were dropped on your head when you were a kid. Anyways, $6,000. No one's going to buy it. Don't buy it. Don't touch it. It's lame. Please don't buy this car. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you for today. Today, I'm going to go film with the McLaren. Like I said, possibly the last video with it. I have this one car in mind. I'm looking at going and getting it before the guy sells it. I'm really horny for it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe. And until next video, peace. Take your guesses of what the car is down below.